But did he walk good just now? Yeah. He walk good just now? He say he got mental to be he has mental. He can't walk. Oh. So he live out the government period and say he like Hey guys, we're here visiting Osley. It's late in the afternoon. I have to get ready to go do my live at 5.30 and I have to eat first. But we could not let another day go by without coming to see Osley. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk with the mayor tomorrow. You guys, I got a phone call yesterday saying that I won the prize for today's walk. This is the walk with the mayor, by the way. I'll get up here, is it? And, um, I came over here all early, ready for my winnings, and the lady says, we don't reward the prizes until after the walk. I'm like, what? I see some backpacks, so. What time is the walk supposed to start? Huh? What time is the walk supposed to start? Eight. Eight. Even though, even though I make bags for a living, I'm just saying, I would love to win a backpack. <laughs> I would love to win tennis shoes, but I don't see no shoes. <laughs> shoes, shoes are too complicated, man. I know, they don't know what size. So, let's go over to the table and wait. Pity. You feel no pity on that <laughs> I one? I feel no pity. Oh, I get no, no pity. No sympathy. I tie my jacket around me. I'm cold when we first start, then I get hot. This is Fontana Aquatic Center. They have a lifeguard on, on staff already. That means somebody's in there? There's people in there, yeah. There's people in there that early? Yeah, they swim. Yeah, they swim. yeah. There's, there's some people in the pool. <laughs> For real though, people are already in there swimming. These people are crazy. It's like 50 degrees. I gotta drop this. No, there's people swimming. I they're saw, swimming. I saw people in suits. You know, like just when we first got here, they're in swimming suits. You know, like swimming is the best exercise. You work every part of your body. I wish I could swim. Me too. Yeah. Let Colin teach us while they still have the pool. Let Colin teach us. <laughs> so. Fontana has a lot of these community centers. Huh? I don't know how to swim, babe. I would do it. Yeah, let I, I'll let you or Colin. I trust you. I trust that that you know that is the best person to teach you how to swim because he doesn't like dunk you and Colin do stupid do things, huh? Colin doesn't do that when I was learning from him a little bit. Well, I don't know anything about Colin, but I trust Daddy. Huh? Mm -hmm. So the walk doesn't start till 8, but we came early because they said I won a prize. Mom. Hey. The lady said come early. She tricked me. Huh? Let's let's start let's start walk we finish where you walk for something. Huh? <laughs> we don't know where they go. <laughs> uh, what? I have uh, shorts but I wish I brought my like gym shorts, you know. You have gym shorts? From the when you used ones, to go to school? No, the ones I go to the gym in, the black ones. Oh okay. Look at that sun, guys. It's so nice and warm right now on me because I'm cold. I overdressed for this weather. <laughs> well, you could start stripping. That's why California is layers. You strip that green shirt off and tie it around your waist. My the blue shirt under it looks horrible. For the phone? It's made for the phone. Yeah. Look at you all the way in the front. Show off. <laughs> me and Joshua are in more towards the front, right, Josh? Uh, yeah, mid front. And we're walking. The mayor didn't come today because she's in Sacramento doing her mayor, mayoral duties. She's at the state capitol. It's a lot easier if I didn't have that sleep part. <laughs> they said that we're going to walk three miles today. But it's laps, so you can stop. Four laps makes it three miles. Oh, we're doing, we're doing this four times? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad that Joe and I didn't walk yesterday. And I'm so glad that we've been building up our stamina because I don't know that I'd be able to do this three miles. <laughs> this is the second lap that we're on. And if you look behind us, we don't see nobody else but the staff. Look in front of us. How many of us are going to drop before the fourth one? <laughs> Not bad. I tell you that I have ADHD. <laughs> Energy yeah, we're on the tail end of the third lap. Still doing good, but I think after I get home, it'll be a day of lifetime on the couch. Lifetime movies. <laughs> uh. 
Look guys, I'm really a winner! Look guys! Let's see you down there, that's the ticket. Thank you so much for joining Yes! My whole tripod just dropped just now with the camera on it. Thank God it hit the tripod first before the camera, so I hope it doesn't cause a problem. So let's open the bag. And it's one of these messenger type side saddle type bag thingies. So. Let's see what I got, guys. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, these are. This is not first aid kit, Joe. Yes, sir. This is ankle weight. Mm, okay. Ankle weights, five pounders. Mm mm. Girl, where? Girl, why? Uh uh. <laughs> Two and a half pound each. Tones and conditions. This is for when I get more advanced. This is not now. Let's see the other gift. Stretch bands, a set of three. I could use these right at home. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. I could use these. Yeah, this is a good gift. Thank you. Thank you, City of Fontana. Huh. I got a receipt. Joe, I have a receipt. What a receipt for? Oh, if you want to take stuff back? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Gift receipt. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I don't think I would take back anything, though. Right? I like this. Oh, look. What is this? $20 to Big Five. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, the receipt is for Big Five also. I suppose if I took anything back, it would be the weights. And I would take it back to get shoes. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. We'll probably the weights to go from, from back home. Big Five. All of this is from Big Five. Girl, I don't know if I could walk with this. How much for that? I don't know. No, they don't tell you the price. You gotta go look it up on Big Five to see the price. Three gifts. They're awesome gifts, but I need shoes. We'll see. I might keep it though. Anyways, the walk was really, really great. It was very difficult. If I wasn't going with Joe the whole time on that trail for this whole month, I don't think I would have made it past two laps for that walk. It's not steep hills, but the around that whole community center it's kind of hilly and um, in the first lap really I could feel it I could feel my chest hurting and I could feel my calf muscles hurting but Josh stuck with me Joe gone and left us that's how he rolls like forget y'all little weaklings so he went with the stronger group after the first lap as you guys saw there was no one behind us I come in <laughs> but first. the guy from Parks and Rex huh I come in first you came in first? Mm -hmm. You didn't even win a prize? No, that's what I asked again. Where are we for winner? That sucks. They should have a prize for the first it's first it's place winner. Hey, huh? Take picture taken. <laughs> we want no picture. We have enough cameras that we take picture with all day long. <laughs> but anyways, uh, my winning was a random draw. So I guess my luck is changing, y'all. Yeah, they didn't pick me just because I put in my points. It was they put you in the raffle because you put in your points. So it was random. So I'm like, yay. I'm so excited about that. And... Um, <clears throat> I made it through the whole four laps. Joshua went with us because he wanted to like pick people's mouths over there to find out how to get a job in the city because Jory works for the city, but he works in the after school program. So that's a different program. And we wanted to know what was the name of the program that Joshua would have to sign up under when he sees it pops up. Right. So the, the one girl says it's community service assistant. That's what it's called. So whenever that pops up level one, two or three, Joshua will submit for that and then get on a job with the city. So we have to keep our eyes peeled, y'all. So, um, um, I did a live when I was out there. I did like a 10 minute live and I made an announcement in that live. That's why I still have it up so people could see, but I'm telling you guys here in the vlog, I decided, uh, I think pretty much into the wee hours of the morning, I think I woke up from this deep sleep, like around two 30. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. So I decided <clears throat> I'm not going to do any more scheduled live events. I try to do scheduled live events because I feel like that consistency will help to let it grow. But it never really grew. 
you know, it's always the same 10, 11, 12, up to 18 people. The people don't talk. They're pretty much trolls. They just sit there and not say anything. I do realize that some of my diehards are like busy cooking or driving while I'm in the live, but you do check in and say, hey, I'm driving, but I'm listening. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. But the other people that are sitting there trolling, and no matter what I talk, they run back to my dad with stuff. So it's, you know, just minions from the family that's trolling me. I feel like because they know that it's a set time, they're ready. They come in and they sabotage, like this one girl, Lizzie, whatever her name is, <clears throat> that came in yesterday and acted like she was trying to be friends and that she loves the show, yada, yada. And the minute I did my sales pitch for my handbags, because that's how I survive right now, is off of the sales of the handbags, right? She jumped in and said, I also sew, I also make handbags, and here's my uh, place where you can go see it, and everybody abandoned me. Everybody except for Sess. And I don't know I don't know if there were diehards in the room because at that point all my diehards had already stepped in and said, Hey, I just wanted to say hi, but I can't stick around today, yada yada. So there were really no diehards in the room, just the random trolls. And they just abandoned me the minute the girl came and she was the shiny new thing. And I'm not a narcissist, you don't need to stay with me, but I will demand respect when I'm doing my live. Because that's disrespectful to come into somebody's live. And promote your crap that you're doing because it's hard to do the lives I have to uh, work on my energy all day <clears throat> I have to eat the right foods so that I don't lose energy at the end of the day because 530 that's when I kind of get tired I have to be in a good mood because I'm not always in a good mood I tell you guys that all the time because I'm very authentic I have to be in a good mood sometimes I have to coerce my family sometimes I have to coax them I don't always have to coerce them but I have to coax them and say would you do the live with me today people like to see the family dynamic and they're like no I don't want to do it that's all you that's your career I want to do this and then I have to live with that <clears throat> and um, if it's gonna start wrecking my family dynamic and it's gonna start making me miserable I'll quit even the cooking channel if I find out that I'm doing the recipes and I don't have the heart for it anymore I'll just quit I'll make a video saying that I quit and I'll just find something else to do to make money. So um, I, I need to like rejuvenate myself. The two live events on Tuesdays and Fridays was taking up a lot of my days. I couldn't go to the gym on those days. That's why I started doing the walks in the morning on those days <clears throat> because it takes up so much of my time to be on that live for that hour and a half, two hours. And I know that a handful of you, or maybe a couple handful of you, guys really, really appreciate it. And you guys don't want to see me quit. Tracy already called. Don't you quit your life. You better not quit your life. I'm not quitting the live. I'm still going to go live, but I'm going to go live when I feel like it. And I'm going to go live, you know, for random times, you know, like 10 minutes, an hour, 15 minutes. I won't have like a set hour and a half, you know, stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, I feel really at peace with the, with the decision and I hope you guys understand because I really like having contact with you. That's why I'm going to still go live, but I just don't want it to be scheduled. When it's scheduled, it really pins me in a box and it also gives the trolls an opportunity to sit and lay and wait for me. People, you know, even in real life, if you go one route all the time and people are watching you, always remember this. Someone is always watching you. They're always watching what you're doing. I'm not talking about Big Brother watching with the cameras and stuff in the lamppost or whatever. I'm talking about people on a whole. You might think nobody's noticing you, but somebody's always noticing what you're doing. So always try to be doing good. You know, always try to look your best when you go out in public because someone's always watching you and somebody is watching you that can greatly bless you. Likewise, somebody is watching you that can hurt you. And if they learn your routine, they can lay in wait and sabotage you. You know, even if you're walking around the block, somebody could hurt you or whatever because they're, they're, they know, oh, like clockwork, she's going to be here at 530. And that's the same thing with YouTube. They want you to be consistent with your live events because that's how you grow your audience. But I've come to the realization that I will never grow my audience. You know, my YouTube has 40,000 subscribers, 10 to 18 people come in my live. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it to, to tie myself to a, a time frame like that. Um, I'm just going to continue making the cooking videos and making my little vlogs. Cause I really do love making the vlogs. I, every time I, I, I make a vlog, I'm always with the camera and I'm always looking at things that Joe doesn't look at when we're outside, like the flowers and the waterfall and stuff like that. 
because I want to share it with you guys because I do realize that a lot of people that watch my vlogs are shut in for whatever reason you know they're shut in because of the health reason maybe finances or whatever and sometimes the only outdoors you see is what I show you in my vlogs I am so grateful that I live in such an awesome city where they have so much outdoor activity and that even at 51 I'm still healthy enough to walk because I do be, I do know that a lot of people that are 51 can't walk maybe because of their size maybe because of diabetic neuropathy some people have stomach neuropathy you all know that I have stomach issues um, I'm even thinking that I'll scale back a little bit about talking about my stomach issues because maybe that's getting boring to you guys But I will give you updates to let you know. How is it going? It's weights. Oh, it's not a medical kit And they gave me the gift receipt that I could turn it back in if I want to at big five Really? I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna keep that I might turn I it in and get something else that I could use Athletic gear or tennis shoes or something. I would, I would use these too. Uh, I don't want to open it because I don't think I'll use that. I could, it, it's yours. I could, do what you want to do. I could do. really carry my own fat behind. I'm going to carry this weight. Do what you want to do. Mom. But those, those are cool. <laughs> the weights are cool. The weights yeah, and the stretchy bands. I would. Stretchy bands? Yeah. Stretchy bands and um, the $20 gift card. Oh, okay. So I'll go there and see what they have. How about that, that weight's not that expensive. And those if, weights probably like... If I could 20. get... If I could get um like athletic gear like some pants yeah. out of that twenty, I'll so leave you with the weights. Okay. Yeah. Well, if, but let if me you see first. If you see something cool there, I'll don't, go there don't first. Think about me. Yeah, yeah, I'll go there first. See, Joshua's always about his mama. Yeah. So um, what was that? Where was I? Uh, well, I know a lot of people have health issues, and maybe you have a balance issue, and you can't walk outdoors, and you might fall and hurt yourself or whatever. And um, I hope that I can inspire you guys to at least sit on the recliner. And take some little dumbbells and do this and you know move your leg or you know Joe does a lot of recliner exercises you know <laughs> Korea, like... I know you guys that's the last recording I got out of the camera remember I told you that the whole tripod fell well the camera was still working that is until I shut it off because it fell with the lens in the open position when I shut it off the lens retracted and after that it will not open so the lens is not broken, the LCD screen is not broken, but the lens cannot come out and go in. Yeah. So Josh was trying to take it apart. That's my newest camera. This one's the older one. I, I stopped using this one because sometimes it's blurry. Don't even know if it's blurry right now <laughs> because I can't see without the glasses to see if it's blurry. But I got a little bit discouraged for a moment. And then I realize I have Josh and he'll get to the bottom of it. I have confidence in him. And if he doesn't fix it, then I'll have to go back to my old Canon camcorder, which is dark and gloomy. Or I'm going to have to use my Rebel more. And I, I don't use my Rebel to record too often because I don't have a lavalier mic. And the uh, mic on the Rebel is ugly. It, the sound is ugly. You need a lavalier mic. Or I might have to use this one and pray that it's not blurry. But I'm going to have to make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> Guys, it's working. It's working. So Joshua took the camera apart. There's something on my lip. It's like, I feel like excess lipstick. And he could only get so far into the camera because there's a lot of ribbons inside the camera and you're not supposed to let those uh, ribbons break because that's it. It's done. Kaput. So while he was putting it back together, uh, some ribbon ribbon came undone. It didn't break though, but it came undone. So he had to open it back up. Go back. Oh my God! It was, it was like this. <laughs> so then he closed it successfully. He found space for all the screws, and then when he turned it on, I had to go through like setting the calendar and stuff. And it did work for a little segment that I taped. And I said, Oh, it's working. And then I shut it off, and then it stopped working. It would go, <laughs> and the lens can't open. Joe, you see the black? Joe, hand me that black camera over there, babe, please. On a table let me show you how it looks it's just like this but this is the one that I'm using is the upgrade to this one so for the upgrade the door flips upwards so I would have to look up there to see myself now this one go in front of the tripod please the, the door opens like this to the side so then I would look to the side to see myself when I first start recording of course so I set the calendar the clock everything and it worked like I said and then when I shut it off it stopped working so then Jory had the smart idea because ever since Jory was a little kid he fixes everything one way and one way only he hits it 
All right. So he goes, well, the camera fell that away on the floor and something is wonky in there. Why this? See, when you do that, that's supposed to poop like that. Joe, get away from this. I'm going to hurt Joe. He got some big old I'm shoes not, on. I'm, I'm he got you. some big old clung shoes hey, on. I got you. <laughs> oh my God. So that's how it's supposed to open when you turn it on. And then when you close it, it recoils, right? Or retracts. And it didn't, nothing could happen. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Joshua did an exacto knife. Thank you for the knife, Shanika. He did everything that he could do and it didn't work. So Jory took it and I swear to you, I kid you not. Jory was like, bang, bang, bang. Opposite direction from how the camera fell. And it started to work. He turned it off, on, off, on, off, on. So I don't want to get all cocky, but the camera is working. But look at this side by side. I don't know where it's going to come up. And one of them is this camera. I'll, I'll title it so you can see. And one of them is this camera. You see the difference in the look? I mean, it has this one has a more beautiful look, right? More beautiful coloring to it. So Joe and I didn't go to Big Five yet because I've been bogged down with that all day. And um, this is a camera that I use for the cooking channel. So I need it for this to work. And so but we'll go. We'll go see what all they, you know, they, they might be closing pretty soon. It's 323. We might have to go before 5. We'll go to see what all they have and to see if I want to trade any of those gifts for anything else. I don't think I'll ever lose, lose. I don't think I'll ever use the weights. So I definitely would like to get something else that I would use. This is from my friend Nisa. This is our car. Yep. She sends this to me every month, my clockwork. And it's the forward day by day and it's for the new month. So something's on my lip. I have for April already, now she sent me May. Oh, this is May, June, and July. So I guess she sends it every three months. I thought it was every month. It seems like it comes often. And you open in here and you read every day what it says and it, it kind of comforts you. So I keep them. I have a whole stash of them in my library. You know, I'd like to have a house that's big enough to have a library. And the kind of library where you have to climb up on the ladder and the ladder moves so that you can get up and get the books and stuff. That's been a dream of mine. So, yeah. Um, I'd say the day is ending well because it didn't start off well. Sorry, guys. I had to take that call from my dad just now. So Joe is in there. MacGyver is in there taking the fridge apart to get the defroster part out. It's a little bitty part. On Amazon, it says it's only $28, but I don't want him to buy the wrong one. Every time he's bought parts for the washer and dryer, um, you have the right model number and everything, and the wrong one will come because he doesn't know what it looks like until he takes it off, right? Then he has to, like modify it in order to um, get it to work so he might be making a bunch of noises back there did i tell you guys that joe and i are going to start trying to sew some of my clothes i have like three different outfits that i like and if we can like replicate it he can start making them in smaller sizes as i come down i think it'll be fun one of them is a wrap dress that's not truly wrap i say that because i don't have to like open the side tight and then do this untight it's just a dress but it's built like a wrap dress one of them is this little skirt that a friend of mine gave me a long time ago, and the skirt is kind of flirty flirty, but I thought you just kind of folded the skirt and cut around it. No, it goes together in sections, kind of like the way you do the bag. And then another one is this dress that I call Beyonce's mom's dress because it was from her line. Yeah, baby, you have any banana you want. Banana almost killed me. I don't want none. <laughs> yeah, so um, three different outfits that I think are simple enough. They don't have like the piping around the neck that you have to do and all this stuff. The first one we're gonna do is an off the shoulder blouse. And then think about it, I can make the sleeves any size I want to match my fat arms. So anyways, that walk was hard. Joshua went with us. Next time we're gonna to try to drag Jada. She didn't go today because she had to work. She went from three, it's 3.30 right now. She went from three and she's supposed to go till 11.30 but it might be till midnight. But. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. If you like what I produce, please thumbs it up and then leave me a comment. You don't have to share it. Honestly, you guys don't have to share the vlogs. I appreciate that you share the cooking videos. And I really do appreciate when you share anything that I review because I really uh, do want to start getting those dedicated videos. I see YouTubers with less subscribers than I have and they get these dedicated videos and I don't get any. But I'm not going to let it deter me. I'm going to keep pressing my way until I get the first one. And I know it's going to be like when you're trying for a credit card. After you get the first one, 
They're everybody gonna want you then. It's kinda like when you're a girl and you don't got a you don't got a mate or you're a dude and you don't got a mate. After you get a mate, everybody wants you then. They find you very appealing, don't they? <laughs> Anyways guys, I'll see you next vlog. Bye bye. Yeah daddy in a kimono. Get that up.